Welcome back, Patriots. It's your boy, Tyrone, Mr. Conservative, coming back at you guys with another video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff for me, guys. Don't forget to share this video, and don't forget to call me Mr. Conservative. And yes, Patriots, I'm back at you guys with a somewhat quick video. I promise I will try to make this video as quick as possible for you guys. I know you guys are important people, but I got a few things I want to talk about. Plus, I want to give you guys an update on what's going on with the Wii Spa out there in California, you guys. And for the people that do not know what's going on with the, the whole Wii Spa thing, let me give you guys a, a recap of what's going on. So there was a man who identified as a woman who went into the women locker room you guys okay he went into the women locker room he got undressed exposing his whole entire male parts his whole kibasa his whole chimichanga you know what i mean real talk to children to children now look patriots look check it out you had six-year-olds seven-year-olds you had grown women in there too like nobody wants to see this man chimichanga nobody wants to see that and especially not no six-year-old girl not especially not no seven-year-old girl and especially not no grown woman ain't nobody want to see that Ain't nobody want to see that. So the crazy thing about this, the, there was a video that went viral. People was upset. You got people coming out protesting against it. You got people out there protesting against that establishment. They're boycotting that establishment and stuff like that. And none the less, you guys, check it out. Guess who came out to defend this man? Guess who came out to defend him? Antifa, you guys. Antifa. Antifa. Antifa came out and they're they're protesting. They're, they're 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 doing their normal Antifa shenanigans that they normally do. Okay, because you know good darn well if you catch one of them one on one, they're not going to do anything. They wait till they get these numbers and then they want to act tough. We all know that because when you catch them one on one, they quiet as a church mouse. Quiet. Now. The crazy thing about this whole entire situation, you guys, this is the crazy thing about this. These people are actually coming out and defending this man. They're coming out and defending this man. They're defending like, oh, he's transgender. He has that right. You know, blah, 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 blah. It's the law. You can't discriminate. Look, ain't nobody discriminating against this man, okay? Ain't nobody discriminating against him. Ain't nobody discriminating against him. He want to identify as a paperclip. He want to play dress up. That's his business. That's his prerogative. You know what I'm saying? But when you start implicating children into the mix and you want to get undressed in front of these six-year-olds like no one not no six-year-old no six-year-old little girl should see a grown man penis man real talk real talk you know it i know it is it, sick it's sick and it's disgusting real talk ain't nobody want to see that like i said ain't nobody want to see that ain't nobody want to see that and for the people that's actually coming out and defending this I, i'm questioning your morals i'm honestly questioning your moral and the crazy thing about this i'm surprised that i haven't heard anything from the lgb community on this situation you guys like why are you guys you know pretty much condoning this behavior this behavior i mean like you're condoning this behavior and antifa you're condoning this behavior right and it makes you look bad even though you already look bad in the first place you know nobody likes you anyways real talk ain't nobody like antifa ain't nobody like antifa real talk now this this crazy patriots this is super crazy people are defending this man who def who who pretty much Stole away those kids' innocence. That he stole away their kids' innocence. Real talk. You got undressed. That man no good, god darn well, he had that kibasa. He no good, darn well, that was the chimichanga a swinging. He knew it. He knew it. And what did he choose to do? He chose to go right in there, okay? Right in there. Pull down his, his, his whatever he was wearing. I'm assuming he was wearing panties, I guess, right? Pull him down and just have his whole male part exposed to six-year-olds. You know what I mean? Real talk. Real talk. And y'all defending this? Y'all is defending this. Okay, now, let me ask somebody. And let me ask somebody. Let me, I hope a transgender or somebody of the LGB community hot sees this video and I hope they comment below. Now, I just want to ask, do you guys honestly condone this type of behavior? Do you guys honestly condone this type of behavior? I mean, like, okay, you want to play dress up, you want to, you want to be whatever you want to be, but man, come on, look, man, these are kids. These are kids. These are kids now. Real talk. These are kids. These are children who don't need to be exposed to a, a, a grown man parts just like young boys young boys should not be exposed to a woman's you know anatomy their, 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 their body parts you know what i mean real talk real talk because these are children we're talking about we're talking about six-year-olds seven-year-olds they don't know nothing about this they don't know nothing about this and you just and now people have to explain parents has to explain to this little six-year-old daughter or the six-year-old what whatever niece or whoever they had at, at this uh the spa about hey mom auntie cousin sister 
why is there this man in here with his, his thing hanging out? Why? Why? That's, that's my question I would like to ask the people, man. Why are y'all supporting this? He was wrong. Wrong is wrong. Right is right. I don't care. I don't care. If you're wrong, you know you're wrong. I got friends, you know, they be like, man, T, no, 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 no. You was wrong, buddy. You was wrong. You was wrong for that. Real talk. You know good darn well you was wrong. Now, he's wrong. He's wrong. Simple as that. And why can't the left just admit that this man was wrong? Instead, they're going after defending him. Defending him of exposing himself to children, man. That makes me mad. That grinds a gear. That makes me want to do something ungodly-like. Real talk, man. Real talk. Real talk. Because when you put children into it, man, it, 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 it. ooh, Jesus, you better control me. Better control me. So, yeah, I'm going to get off that subject because it really is grinding a gear with me. It's really going to pee me off, you guys. So, that is the update pretty much of what's going on. They're protesting out there. You got you got people protesting against the establishment. And then you got Antifa out there defending this, this man who exposed himself. And, yes, there has been some, some conflict between the two. Um, yes, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> what do you expect from Antifa, man? What do you expect? This just shows their true colors, and this just shows where their moral and principle lie. All right? They don't care about the children. They don't care about nothing. Real talk. Now, I was gonna say something, but oh Jesus, let me let me just let me just let me just let me just end this, okay? Let me go on to the next thing I want to talk about, you guys. I'll make that real quick because I spent entirely too long talking about this. All right, so now. Thanks. Shout out to ABL, you guys. Shout out to ABL. Uh, I got this from ABL, you guys. Uh, so there is um, the teacher union, you guys, uh, is saying that they're going to teach critical race theory in all 50 states, you guys. All 50 states, they're going to push it. There has been some states that outlawed it. Um, there are some states that haven't outlawed it. I really honestly believe critical race theory should not be taught upon our children. And if that's the case, if these teachers are going to do that, it should be us parents should be fighting back and it should be in our decision hey you know what you got a separate class for that okay it should be a choice now i choose for my kids to opt out opt out you right they i don't want that if you want to teach that in a, spe a special class or whatever and i know it shouldn't be it should be done but it should be we should be saying you know what no no if that's the if that's the topic please have my child go sit in the hallway please give my child another assignment please please do not teach my child this because you know what i don't want my child to learn hate because that is what critical race theory is you guys it's hate it's nothing but hate speech and it just teaches people to hate each other and, and it's it just divides everybody so yeah, I don't want my child. I t I'm trying to teach my kid to love everybody, man, uh, to love her country. You know what I mean? My daughter to love love this country. My boys to love this country. Love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like Christ loves you. You know what I mean? So I got to store these value into them, okay? So, yeah, critical race theory, man, horrible, horrible. It's going to destroy this country. It's going to destroy the youth, all right? Leave the kids out of it. Leave the kids out of it, man. Leave the kids out of it. Stop teaching this stuff. Stop trying to warp the kids' mind. Stop turning, stop dividing the children. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Because the more you teach us, the more you divide. You know what you, you're going to start having, if they proceed with this, you know what they're going to start having more of? They're going to start having more fights in school because you're teaching people to hate each other. Simple as that. Simple as that. And you're teaching people to hate this country. You're teaching people to hate this country. Man, you don't got, I mean... Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. You don't like it, then leave. Simple as that. You don't like this country. You don't like the way it's ran, ran. Then you can go somewhere else, right? Right? So, yeah. Let me move on to something real quick before I end the video, you guys. So, there has been um, a, a poll conducted, you guys, where I believe a large portion of people look at the American flag, you guys, and they don't think that that unites us anymore they're saying that that does not unite us that we don't unite underneath that flag that's crazy you guys that's crazy for people to think like that right it's super crazy you know you know look i'm gonna tell you guys that flag right there many people have died for it okay blood has been spilled people have lost leg arm limbs all kind of stuff man real talk defending that flag and defending the principle and morals that that flag stand for okay Real talk. And we're not just talking about just white people. We're talking about black, brown, white, orange, all of them. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody, Patriots. So for you to try to say that we don't unite underneath this flag, that's crazy. Then you need to go to another country, man. You need to go to another country because you know what? That is your flag. 
that is your flag. You are an American if you like it or not. Real talk. Real talk. And by the way, by the way, you know how when you fill out a job application, when you fill out a job application, they ask you your, uh, nest, uh, what is it, your, your, your race or your ethnicity or what? I, I can't pronounce it right. But you guys know what I'm talking about, right? When they ask you, what is your, your race? I believe this should be a, a category to check as American. I am an American. I believe that. I believe that should be on the application. You know what I mean? Because you know what? We need to stop dividing each other by color and, and race. We need to unite as Americans. And that is definitely Patriots. Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm going to end the video. Let's end the video with the let's make America great. And let's definitely keep America great, Patriots. Yeah, baby. And come on in here. The way we're going to make America great and the way we're going to keep America great, you guys, is all uniting underneath that American banner, underneath that flag. Real talk. And being held accountable. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And not dividing our children between each other and making them hate each other. So, yes, that's definitely how we're going to make America great. That's definitely how we're going to keep America great, you guys. So, you let's unite underneath that, that flag. You know what I mean? And I'll be coming back at you guys with another video.